Screaming and roaring through the clouds like some form of mythical monster, the A-10 Thunderbolt is no ordinary plane. With a cannon that strikes fear and dread into the heart of enemy forces, and armour that transforms into a flying fortress, it's a true warrior of the air. Get ready to split the skies asunder as we unravel the extraordinary story of the A-10 and its unmatched might and unparalleled prowess. The A-10 Thunderbolt is also known as the Tank Buster. Put simply, it is a phenomenally strong and powerful plane that excels at destroying things. It's that simple. It adopted its Tank Buster nickname because, you guessed it, it's really rather good at blowing up tanks, not exclusively tanks, anything unfortunate enough to find itself in the crosshairs. It's basically a flying gun that targets and decimates any ground target it sets its sights on. It is revered and adored not only because it is tough, it wears its heart on its sleeve and does precisely what it says on the tin. A lot of damage. Now, this plane has been around for a long time and has been used in multiple wars and conflicts from Grenada, the Balkans, Afghanistan, Iraq, the Islamic State, you name it. Its main job is simply to destroy enemy tanks, vehicles and buildings. Some say it's something of a dinosaur, but it never shows its age and can even work well on short runways and it can land easily thanks to its monstrously strong wheels and landing gear. Now this makes it great for fighting on the front lines as well, and it can fly up to 800 miles without needing to stop. Thus, this magnificent aircraft is invaluable to soldiers on the ground by relentlessly and surgically targeting and attacking the enemies from above. Let's take a tiny trip back in time. This concept began back in the 1960s when the team got a contract to figure out what this new aeroplane should be like. They knew they wanted it to be strong and able to stay safe in very dangerous situations. It sounds simple enough, that's not an easy brief. After studying and designing, they got a contract to build the test version called the AX. Then there was a competition to see which plane was the best and the A-10 Thunderbolt II took the title. Why did it win? Well, it's not only a natural at flying low to the ground, but it's mind-blowingly powerful, and moreover, it is designed to bring its pilot back safely even if it gets hurt. The design has special features to keep the pilot safe, like a reinforced metal frame area along with controls that still work even if parts of the plane are damaged. As you might imagine, this design was unfathomably effective in wars like Desert Storm in the 1990s, not to mention more recent battles. In 1987, the Grumman Corporation took over the A-10 Thunderbolt II project from the Fairchild Republic Company. Now it's a part of the Northrop Grumman Aeronautics Systems and works with Lockheed Martin Systems Integration as part of a team. Now this team that made the A-10 Thunderbolt II has always been working to make it even better. They added multiple bells and whistles like advanced navigation systems, an upgraded protocol crash protection safety unit, even kitted it out with a night vision system. They have also made sure the plane stays just as strong and safe as a changing world began to change how it is actually used. Let's get down to the specifications. Zooming low and slow through the skies, the A-10 Warthog is a true ace when it comes to taking out enemies no matter their size. With a solo pilot at controls, it's like an armoured tank that can actually fly, like the love child of Iron Man and Megatron. While it's not the speediest flyer, the A-10 Thunderbolt can still pack a punch cruising at around 365 knots or 420 miles per hour. That's only 50 or 60 miles per hour less than a regular passenger jet. But here's the twist. The A-10 prefers to relax. It prefers to hang around 300 knots or less, around 345 miles per hour during most missions. Why? Because it's not in a race with speedy fighter jets like the F-35. The A-10 has a different mission in mind. The A-10 is a tough, cookie. It's an aerial juggernaut. It is built to keep flying even if things get rough. Its landing gear is one of a kind. 
You see only half of each behemoth wheel tucks away during flight, leaving the rest sticking out. This enables the A-10's wings to stay strong and supple and simple, just the way they like them. And if the landing gear decides to take a break, no worries, the A-10 can still land safely. Now, let's talk about the pilot's cosy spot, also known as the cockpit. It's wrapped in super thick armor of 3.8 centimeters thick to be exact, but guess what? This armor isn't just one giant piece. No, it's like a puzzle with lots of titanium plates bolted together. And hey, don't miss that massive bubble canopy on top. It's like a super shield that gives the pilot an awesome view all around, making targeting a breeze. The A-10 has a big borderline imperfious windshield. It's like a bubble that can't be shot through. This helps the pilot to see all around and aim easily, so the A-10 becomes a super tough flying machine with armor, see Hulkbuster for details, and inside the pilot has some seriously cool toys. There's a special screen to help them aim, a radio to talk, and a system for simply finding the way. It's like having a smart helper in the cockpit. The A-10 can even carry things outside, like more fuel, more rockets, more ammunition. It's literally like flying a tank. Surely, all of that's enough. No. Let's put some sprinkles and some syrup on this. The coolest thing about the A-10 is the cannon, called the 30mm GAU-8 Avenger. This cannon is precisely like a superhero because it can spin and shoot seven bullets at a time in multiple directions. It sounds like this. Its job is to beat up tanks and other tough vehicles. When it shoots, it can break through armor because the bullets have an almost adamantium level strength metal inside them. It's like the extra secret special power. The cannon can shoot up to 60 to 65 bullets in one second. That's super fast and can destroy almost anything it hits. Some people tell stories that when the cannon shoots, the plane might stop dead in the air, which simply adds to the mythical nature of the beast. The cannon is put in the middle of the plane so that it stays steady and doesn't wobble. The A-10 Thunderbolt is the very definition of a special plane. Now let's break it down. If the giant cannon of the A-10 was put in a different spot, the way that it shoots would be all over the place instead of accurate. That's why they put it right in the middle of the plane, so that it stays steady. The plane even has a special stance because of this, with its front wheels designed to clear the cannon. Fans of the A-10 called Warthog say it's awesome because it's not expensive to fly, it can stay safe in tough situations, and it's exceptional at hitting targets, whatever it aims for. Now this sounds silly, but it's not always the case. It can also drop things super close to soldiers on the ground, but we're talking within a matter of feet without hurting them. Plus, the plane has smart tools like laser painting and electronics to help guide its weapons. The A-10 can do a bunch of absurdly cool things. It has special missiles to shoot down enemy helicopters and even turns better than many other planes, making it very tricky for enemies to catch. It's not just strong, it's offensively smart too. What makes the A-10 super strong are its engines, which give it the reliable power to fly even if something goes wrong. And the way the engines are put on the plane keeps them safe from the dirt and detritus when landing in rough places. The A-10 Thunderbolt is built to last, and it has a lot of backup systems to boot. It's a real hero in the air, and it made its unimaginable difference in battles protecting and saving countless lives. Enough of the past and the present. Let's go back to the future. The A-10 Thunderbolt's future is a topic of discussion among experts. Back in 2007, the United States Air Force thought it would stay in service until 2028, or perhaps even longer. Some believed it would be replaced by the F-35 Lightning II, but not everyone agreed with this idea. Critics argued that swapping the A-10 for the F-35 would be a step backwards. They praised the A-10's performance and were concerned about the high cost of the F-35. In 2012, the United States Air Force considered using the F-35B Stovall variant as a replacement for close air support, but it didn't work out as planned. 
And in 2013, Congress and the United States Air Force looked at different options, including the F-35 and the MQ-9 Reaper, to fill the A-10's role. Some people preferred the A-10 because its armor and its cannon were unparalleled for ground attacks, and it was highly requested by ground commanders. In 2015, the United States Air Force thought about retiring the A-10 to save money and instead focusing on multi-mission aircraft. The US Army was interested in getting some A-10s if they retired, but it never happened. The United States Air Force believed guided munitions could be used by more aircraft, reducing the need for specialized planes like the A-10. So. Developing a replacement for the A-10 became the central topic of discussion, and different aircraft were considered, but eventually they all arrived at an inevitable conclusion. The United States Air Force decided to keep the A-10 beyond its planned retirement date. In 2022, some people suggested lending A-10s to the Ukraine during the Russian invasion. However, there were concerns about the diplomatic and tactical complications. Ukrainian officials asked for surplus A-10s, but the request was declined because they were seen as vulnerable targets for Russian ground-to-air defences. So the future of the A-10 remains strangely secure, but uncertain, with supporters and critics debating its role in modern warfare. Share your experience about this incredible aircraft in the comments section below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications, and stay updated for our future content. Thank you for watching.